Are you looking for a great coastal cruiser, maybe a weekend condo on the water? Then come with me for a quick walk around tour on Mary E here at South Mountain Yachts. It's the week before Thanksgiving and we're sitting here in Dana Point Harbor, Southern California. Now the Mary E has just been buffed and waxed. This 4087 is one of the most popular boats Bayliner ever made. They made over 800 of them, but not all of them with the 330 Cummings diesel engines, which this has. And she only has about 950 hours on her. Some of the best features on this boat that made her well loved, she has a lower aft deck so she can be boarded right from the swim step. We've got that great aft California deck, which is what we're going to call it here. She's got three cabins, a 9kW generator. Now she was originally set up with air conditioning, but those units have been removed, but easily added back on. She's got this inflatable Zodiac, windscreens, and just in general, one of the most popular boats ever built. So come with me for a quick walk around tour on Mary E here at South Mountain Yachts, located in Southern California in this gorgeous weather. Right in front of us, we're starting off at the bow on this 4087 Bay Liner. We have a nighttime spotlight right there. We do have a windlass, which the dinghy is stowed on. It actually sits a little bit differently, but this is how I have it today. The boat has just been buffed and waxed, and you can see we've got windscreens all around, and coming down this side, I do have them removed. Now these windows are very large, they allow light and air into the cabin, and they have screens. Up on the cowl, we see our dual trumpet horns, and if you notice, we have grab rails all the way around on this boat so we can access the bow in comfort. Now we can actually board the boat from either side. We do have these cutouts and dock stairs. This is gonna give us a view of the aft deck or California deck or whatever you would care to call it. We do have lots of rod holders. Included with the boat along with the dinghy is this propane outboard motor by Lear and we also have a gas barbecue. This is that aft deck I was telling you about right there. If you notice, we have lots of rod holders. We have our extended swim platform right here, and we're gonna board the vessel right from here. This is a lower deck. Now, under that hatch is access to the 9kW generator. And this is going to give us a view forward. We've got an oversized transom door so you can easily load items through it. You notice we have steps, no ladders. And under that step we have storage. And here we go. Up a few steps. Three steps and we're on that deck. We've got a transom seat here with storage up underneath, railing all the way around, another storage box right there. Now this area could easily be enclosed. Some of them added it on afterwards, but it's easy to do with canvas. Right before us, we see we have stairs to the helm, nice and easy, on the knees, which after a while you'll appreciate. Here at the bridge deck, we have L-shaped seating with storage underneath and two swivel bucket seats right there. We've got an enclosure up here. We do have that centerpiece down just for viewing purposes. Right before us, we have our shift and throttles, our Furuno Navnet radar, all of our gauges. We're showing on this gauge here, 954 hours. We do have a rudder angle indicator right there. 
and then more gauges, nine, 952 hours. All of our rocker switches are easily accessible. And then we have a Garmin chart plotter there, which you can add the transducers for all sorts of depth sounders. It's a newer unit. You could even add 3D transducers if so inclined. This gives us a nice view forward. And as you can see from the helm, you've got good visibility on both sides for docking. Circling around, there's that L-shaped seating, the centerpiece of Isinglass. We've got a nice hard top there. Great place to store lightweight dinghies paddle boards, kayaks, and you just know kids are going to want to jump off that because it's tempting. This gives us an overview from above to the lower deck. Down the stairs. A quick view down the starboard side, we can see we have our dual electrical connections and a good size walk way to the bow. We enter the cabin through this opaque sliding plexiglass door down a few steps. If you notice, we've got grab rails throughout. This gives us an overview of the main salon. Notice we've got a nice teak and holly floor. Immediate to port, we have a, a galley with a good size refrigerator freezer. Off in the corner, we have our three burner stove and oven it's propane microwave right there sink one of the nice aspects of this galley is you're part of the activity you can talk to everybody in the salon notice the high degree of light and how bright this is and with these windows open have lots of airflow through here. To starboard, we have a couple chairs and our lower station right here. We have our Xantrax inverter control, VHF radio, shift and throttles, full ignition. Again, all of our rocker switches, gauges, Bruno radar compass. Now these hatches here allow light down below. As we circle around, we see we have a raised dinette, which can actually be converted into an another sleeping area. Moving forward, we go down a few steps. And we have door number one, door number two, and door number three. Behind door number three, we have our forward head, vi uh, vinyl above, fiberglass below. We have our Toilet system right there, power flush, it's an electric toilet, pull-out shower, vanity, and yet another tank watch system. The shower is RV style, just pull out the handle and use it. Behind door number two, we have our forward guest suite right here, large oversized bed, it's over seven feet long. We've got gunnel storage. Our overhead hatch. Got a nightstand here. 
with a little seating area there. We also have drawer storage under the bed right there. Here's a plus. We have our port light covers. We also have air conditioning facilities in here. Now door number three, this third cabin can be entered from either the forward V berth or from the side. We have a hanging locker, double wide bed right there. And that also is about seven, seven and a half feet long. There we go. Out the other door. This teak and holly floor is in pretty good condition. A little bit of TLC. As you can see right here, signs of wear, but other than that, good condition. Now as we move to the aft cabin, we have another door for privacy, which is great. On a boat, there's limited privacy and every little bit helps. Right in front of us, we see we have an oversized bed. It's almost a queen size. We do have drawer storage underneath, gunnel storage. Got a nice opening hatch there. Circling around, we see we've got more gunnel storage. A cedar lined hanging locker right there. Now this cabin would be a second zone for the air conditioning. And being the master suite, she's a little bit upgraded. We have a nice vinyl on the walls. And then Bayliner's done a nice job. They've gotten a little creative here. We have a head facility to one side with a tank watch system, separate holding tank, separate ha lights there. We've got a mirrored vanity in front of us. Corian countertop, storage below. And then we have a nice shower here, fully lined fiberglass with a seat. With this configuration, both people could get ready at the same time. I like this. We've got a step here, and this bed is easy to make, access from both sides, so everyone's comfortable. We do have mirrored storage right here. We can see our ship's library. And then engine access is also right up through there. As we exit the aft cabin, we see we've got a power panel right here. This boat does have a water maker. There's all of our electrical connections right there. And it's nicely hidden with this glass enclosure right here. This boat is neat, clean, presents well, has loads of features. She's ready to go to the next owner. Viewer today, owner tomorrow at South Mountain Yachts. Here we are on the bay liner with the Twin Cummins 330. We're going to have a cold start for you. Go ahead and fire her up. Okay. We've got the owner on board.
There we go. We've got a cold start, if you notice. Nice and quick. Nice and clean.